it finally arrived. Been waiting for this. I was busy with my walking stick and I heard the mailman. He finally brought it. It goes with this. Yep, another sharp and shiny. Two together, two at once. Let's check it out. This is the walking stick that I've been working on. So what I've been talking about, so what I've been waiting for is this guy who goes with this guy. And I'm hoping one will work with this guy. Talking about the peasant knife. From Sword. I did a short on this guy, but I wanted to do a full review with this guy. The reason is I didn't know that they had a different size. And basically, it's these two guys. Look at that. You got a big guy and a little guy. The big guy I did the review on on a short, a really quick look at it. What are these all about? Well, let me tell you, these have some history from long ago. Let's have a look at them and we'll go through some history. The sword, peasant knife, look at that. And I love this idea. If I'd known, this is what I would have got. But this one is a beast. So these are the, the sword peasant knives and a lot of people know them as a friction folder. You probably saw my video from BPS Knives, where they have a friction folder, which is basically the same thing. It's a lot fancier. But these, these are traditional. There is so much tradition and history behind these, I couldn't go away from them. The first thing I noticed is the difference. I bought this one originally and then found out about this guy. Same company. I just didn't look hard enough. I was so excited that I found the knife that I just bought this one because I wanted to look at it right away. Now I want to show you something. When they arrived, this is a carbon steel blade. Now how it works is it's a friction folder. In other words, there's no lock on it and they open like that. Just like that. Nice and simple. That's the knife. Well, how does it lock? You probably noticed right away this sticking up here. And I got a, a comment <laughs> on the short from somebody who said, this is not a full tang. And that was my bad. What I meant to say was, it's a rat tail full extension, which is what you're looking at. And if you look, you can see that. And the reason for this becomes the lock when you put your hand over it. Now, I can't move the blade. You holding the blade like this stops the blade from closing. That's it. When you release your hand away from that, this will close down. Now you can see here, this is fairly loose. Okay. They don't come like that. They come like this. This little guy just came straight from the, it's a lot stiffer in there. See, it doesn't move. It takes more to open it, which is fine. They all come like that. Another thing I noticed was this guy did not come with any protection on the blade. And I don't know if you can see here, this one is oiled up. They are carbon and I know that they are storing them because this came from Amazon, which means Sford provides Amazon a whole bunch so that when they get ordered, Amazon just sends them out. Well, sitting in storage like this, they have a chance to rust because they are carbon. So they've put grease on this one. There wasn't any on this one. I'm going to go through this guy with you. And then we'll talk about this guy. The Sford Peasant Knife. From these guys. These knives, this specific peasant knife, is not based on the original. I believe they originated from the Roman. But we're going to get into that. This is based on something a little different. This knife, this particular style, is based on a three to four hundred year old tradition from Bavaria, Bohemian style of peasant knife. The whole friction folder thing and everything is the same. 
So uh, you're looking at it here, and like I said, it is a friction folder. It has polypropylene handles, which obviously they didn't have back then. They had wood handles. The way it works is it just closes like that. You can carry this in your pocket. It's pretty safe. It's not going to come out. This is going to stick out of your pocket, and you can just grab it and pull it out. They are very roughly made. You can see on the blade is uh, New Zealand, Sword, and which is different. I'm always looking for other people, other countries, and see what they have to have. Look to the European guys. This one from New Zealand. I wonder if Australia has one. I'll have to look into that. Very simple. They would make the blade, get two pieces of wood, snap it together in there and hold it in there. And they had their knife. They used it for everything. It was their EDC. Cooking, gardening, outdoor stuff, cutting anything that they needed to cut. This was their knife. Obviously inexpensive, and that's why peasant knife. They could afford them. They could make them themselves. It is a nice blade. It is a, I, you know what, and originally I thought it was just a, a flat grind. I believe it's slightly concave, I think. Come sharp, these come sharp. Very easy to sharpen. Now, they just say that the blade is a Swedish high carbon steel. They don't give it a particular number. They just say Swedish high carbon steel. Um, like I said, it is a, a carbon steel blade. And I like this. Yeah, it gives it a very cool look. Makes it very old school. Um, something I did notice on this blade, though. And I'm not sure what that's all about. But if you look close, look at that. Can you see that? It's like dippling on it. It's still the same thing. It does its job. Now, I told you that this guy, when they come, they come pretty stiff. You know, if I release this now, that blade will drop down. With this one, if I open it up, it's not going anywhere. And on the pivot here, they just have this brass screw. It's very simple. On this one, it actually says on there, maidens in New Zealand. They don't have this on, on this one, interestingly enough. What you can do is you can loosen the screw here so that you have the friction that you are comfortable with. They do say one-handed opening. Um, and I, for some reason, I'm just old. My hands can't do it, but I can see what they're talking about. I and that was the problem I had with this. And that's why I went back and had a look. Because I did see in the description on this one when I bought it, that they said different sizes. Here you have it here. This is the Mini. Now, for me, this works a lot easier for my hand. I, you know, I do have a broad, I'm, I'm all palm, no fingers. And I think that's the problem. I've got short, stubby fingers. This is my size. Look at that. It's a great size knife. I love this. And you know what? I would have to say that this would make a great work EDC knife. Obviously, I've got the different color on it. Personally, I don't really care. Both colors are bright. If I drop it, it'll be easy to find. I am thinking that one of these two knives are going to get a wooden handle from me. I'm planning on making it myself. Why? They simple. It's a very plain, simple handle. There's nothing fancy about it. You don't have any fancy working parts inside. It's literally a pivot. That's it. So I've got to get me some wood. And I was thinking, thinking, I have this. This wood. And if you look, they're slightly different colors. And you know what? They're actually from the same piece of wood. I'm hoping that... I can get a handle out of this guy. See that? I might be able to make a handle out of that. I like the polypropylene hand. I think they're sturdy enough and they give a good grip. But wood on your natural hand will work better. I get a better grip out of it. Love these knives. Can you get any simpler than that? And you know me. I'm a huge sod buster guy. Love my sod busters. Don't that just look like a sod buster? This... Is the original side buster. <laughs> that's what I think. And that's why I like it. Simple, straightforward, nice blade on it, and it works. 
Is it, are they sharp? Now we're gonna have to cut something with it. This one, you just saw me arrive with it. And let's see. Ooh, ooh. Oh, operator error once again. Actually, I think that down here needs to be cleaned up. This on the curve works great. You see that down here, I'm struggling with it. But if I start on the curve, it's nice and clean. Doubled up. So, you know, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. This part of the edge here, this front edge is very sharp. Down here, it feels sharp. It's just maybe needs to be cleaned up. And my strop is not doing its job. Oh, man, I cut it that time. So a little bit of stropping, take care of any issues with it. The differences, look at that. Love this size. This is a little bit too big for me. Although it fits my hand just fine, I, I would prefer to be able to do one-handed simply because I'm not very good at it. But I love these knives. You can't beat these knives. How much did I pay for these knives? Well, that much for this guy. That much for this guy. Not a lot of difference, but look at the size differences. And this, this, it's so light to try this out. I'm going to take it to work and show all the guys. They'll be like, ooh, ah, oh, <laughs> I do like that on the handle. I'm sorry they don't have it on the other one. Love this size. Great size. So let's get some measurements on it. Now I'm going to measure from there to there, and then I'll measure the handle. And uh, we'll get the blade length as well. So on the big guy, closed seven inches from there to there. The handle, a touch over five inches. The blade, the working edge of the blade, from the edge of the choil here to the tip, three inches. So there you go. Doesn't include the choil piece here. I'm going to the working edge. This little guy, the mini, let's measure that. So closed to the edge of the blade, five and a half inches from there to there. The handle, four and an eighth. The blade edge, again, the working edge to the choil, two and a half inches from the tip to the choil. Opened up like this, just like that, six and three quarter inches from there to there. Nice sizes. There they are there. And the packaging is different. This is green, which is for the mini, and this is for the big guy. They give you all the information on there. See here? See what it says? Available only to first-class peasants. Are you good enough? Well, I consider myself a peasant. <laughs> what do you do? Let's check out some history on these things. Pretty interesting. There's a lot of history behind this. They go back, way back. And originally, the first written history of these knives apparently came from the Romans. The soldiers, the Roman soldiers during the Roman Empire. You know, the foot soldiers, the grunts, the peasants carried these. They made them themselves or they had the armorer guy make them for them with a wood handle. And I, let me see if I can find a picture. If I do, I'll put it up here. It's so simple. And they would carry these around on them and use them for all their chores in the camps when they're out, you know, doing whatever they're doing, you know, pillaging and keeping control of the empire. This is what the peasant soldiers carried, hence the peasant knife. The history, you know, that's 2,000 years ago. That's a long time. <laughs> but having said that, this, it's a little bit different to the original Roman uh, peasant knife. Like I said, this one is based on, who did they say? The Bavarian and Bohemia style of peasant knife. How different they are now, you'll see from the picture, if I can find it, is, what did they say? Three to four hundred years of tradition on this. You buy one of these things, you got a piece of history in your hand right there. I'm not sure if you can get a wood handle. I believe you can. You're going to pay more for it, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, if that's what you want. I chose to go with a polypropylene. The price was right for me. <laughs> Budget guy and all. The manufacturing on this, I don't know if it's deliberate. 
I wouldn't be surprised if it is, because look at the handle. It's got manufacturing. They don't clean it at all. Manufacturing gimps on them, which I don't care. It's polypropylene. You know, some sandpaper will take care of that. No problem there. I don't think it affects the working of the knife. It's what it's all about. Simple, straightforward, easy to make. Why they want to get them competitive? If you want to be competitive, you got to find all sorts of ways. And they had the opportunity here. This is a peasant knife. This is what you get. I'm with them on that. You can see it on here a little bit. Yeah, it's not as obvious because it's a smaller. This Ford, peasant knife. This is the mini, and I believe they call this the standard one, the original. Let me get my indoor knife tester. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it cuts it. It'll, you know, this will do. You have good control. That blade's not moving with my hand on there, which kind of surprises me. Before I forget, I thought about a sheath for it, and it'd have to be simple, the sheath. I've had this sheath for a while. Can't remember where it came from with the belt. Not very big, and it's... It's thick, heavy leather. Unfortunately, I just threw it somewhere and forgot about it. And you can see what happens when you do that. So I do have some Neat's Foot Oil that uh, I can put on here that'll help it. Providing, of course, one of these actually fits in there. Let's try this guy first. I'm thinking it's just too big. I like the, uh, the, um, the sheath, this guy from BPS Knives. Nice little folding sheath here, but it's not traditional. This would be more traditional. I want the big one fit. Uh, that looks a little better. More it, like, you pull it out. Will it fall out? No, that might work. So you could carry it on a sheath. Um, this to me is a little bit big for a pocket. I'm pretty sure back in the day, the Romans and all them good guys carried it in a pouch. Kind of like you know, it's a, a pouch that they put it, hung over them shoulders and they put it in there and carried it with all the other gizmos, their packs or whatever. But this might work. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll get a clean the sheath up and hopefully I'll leave the knife in there and it'll shrink onto it, maybe. See what we can do. But what can I say? Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. And now you know the story of these guys, the peasant knife. Very cool. I really like these. <laughs> so nice and simple. You know, you can get all them fancy knives, the traditional uh, pocket knives that everybody makes, Rough Rider, marbles, you know, trade, you name it. You know, you have the history of the canoes and the Congress and trappers and barlows and they don't have this history. They have history, but not like these. Can't be them. So, you all be safe out there. Especially with these guys. They sharp and shiny. Just saying. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye. <laughs>